This is the Doctor continuing the pit plane through with the Warrior. So I looked up the Adamantium Claw issue, and based on what I could gather, this weapon actually does not work for the Hybrid, despite what it says here that it's you know restricted to these classes. I've never actually gotten this far with a Hybrid before. Um, I play like a few test scenarios just to try out a couple starting build orders, uh, but. I also did some research, and you can tell just by looking at some of the you know, most common <laughs> critical items. Like, I knew the Hiver armor does not work for him because the Chitin plate armor. Rather, I shouldn't call it Hiver armor, I should call it that. Chitin. Whoops. Chitin plate armor. Chitin. Restricted to human Tarka. So you know some of these things, and I had assumed Adamantium Claws must work because of, you know, what it says. But yeah, that's actually a problem for this class. All the other weaknesses can in some way be compensated for, but not having access to claws is a huge drawback. I know the Leer can't use it, but that's not a problem because their psionic powers compensate for everything else. Um, whereas if you don't have psionic powers, this is a serious problem because you need some sort of high penetration weapon. This is the most reliable high penetration weapon uh, you can yet in the game. And you know, I sort of massively lucked out finding this thing and managed to boost it up with such great bio mods, but but I do worry a bit for the consistency of this particular character class. Hmm. Hmm. Very alarming. Well, anyway, it's time to go on to floor 29. Uh, I wonder like if I didn't find these two high penetration weapons I don't think this run would be nearly as successful. The armor, for instance, I'm not super worried about. I did find a decent amount of armor, and I could, like, I could get by with more dubious armor. I know that. But not being able to have good weapons is a serious problem. Hmm. Better kill this thing. I even really need to kill this thing. Like, energy cells are actually a bit of concern because the best way to save, like, energy cells is to use adamantium claws. Even though I have a decent supply in the bank, um, I will be needing the adjudicator quite a bit. Ugh. Supplies here. Getting nano wires, but they're completely useless now. I will, however, take up the resistance booster. Whoa! I didn't. Damn Sasquatch. Hopefully, it drops a living steel patch. Compensate for all the damage it did to me. Sounds like a toxoid.
No living steel patch. That's okay. Don't want robots to come along here. Come on. Really locked out getting this warble blade. Obviously a fantastic trap. Beta a gamma key, that's good. That's very good. If the robots want to come over here, that's okay. Already triggered our alarm, might as well try to unlock this. I have no idea what I am doing. Hmm, I may not be able to abuse the Morigi drone too much unless I find a ton more. Um, this room may not be worth it. A ton more energy cells. I mean, energy cells are pretty easy to find, but I worry. Fast uh, strips, always good. Purify that. Yeah, this is definitely not worth going to. Snake? Some sort of psionic enemy? Heavy security bots almost certainly in there. It's probably a Mark 1. Yep. Uh, eat this. Eat this. Just use these medical supplies to heal myself. This robot seems to be spazzing out. I know that's a snake. I don't. Why is it not coming out? Well... Well, there's a Leer, okay. Do cyber scrambler there are multiple of them. Ooh, that guy can heal. We're gonna have to take out the redact row first. Well now we can. Come on. We can't go over here, okay. Oh, you gotta be kidding. Well, if it throws grenades, at least it'll hurt everything else around here. Thank you. Right. Okay, 
This is not gonna work. It's time to retreat. Cyber Scrambler could potentially work. But I need to have better uh, position. That's good. Yeah. This is where we use the Cyber Scrambler. Those guys, yuck. There we go. One down. We're gonna be busy fighting one another. Good. This is why Cyber Scrambler is so awesome. Oh, it's down there, and it somehow missed? That's pretty awesome. Epic battle, and I got a ton of frag grenades as a reward. Need to grab more energy drinks. Seems as good of a time as any to kill him. Good news is now I have so many frag grenades I can use them pretty liberally. Energy cells. Crazed human. I have no idea where the robots are coming from. So we'll wait in this room for them to come. Warren said. That's sad. <laughs> Only humans can open uh, doors like this, so... Now I know what enemy there is. Rifle. I'm gonna have to pump a blade since that's gonna be my most reliable source of melee damage here with the Warpo blade. Scare worms aren't particularly dangerous. I don't know where the human is, but he can't really do anything in melee range, and hopefully the flare worm will kill it for us with the, its flamethrower effect. There we go. Drop 
up some food and scale cells. Hold on your broad smiles, Um, items. Scale. Thermo enzymes. Yeah. Can't use it, so the. That item is useless. Heard another crazed human. Yee. Let's see. It might be that one, and someone let it out. Okay. Oh, there's a Mughal in there. Yeah, yeah, right, right, right. There's no point. These guys can drop food. Another turkey. How about that? Well, we can't do that. We're gonna have to uh, outmaneuver our way here. This is too dangerous of a position. Yeah. Come on. Just oh, we can't melee him. That can damage our weapon. That used up a charge of uh, the uh, base base. Instead, what am I doing? This is the only option that makes sense. is very important but there's also a crazed human stand aside Berman. Desperately need more energy drinks. Now that I've crafted that, might as well make a second one of these. Heard a Moriki drone. Nice stack. And then I'll finish cooking off this meat. Another kitchen. Good. Well, this is not a kitchen, it's a living space, but the kitchen is always appreciated. Could be another cooker there. Yes. I may have to destroy that recycler. You can just snipe it at range. There's actually a chance I can reprogram it correctly. I might actually try to do that. 
Yeah, because I have the coding avatar. So I'll circle around and attempt to do that. Well, we don't really have many options. I need to close these doors first. Yeah. In case of stuff like this. That thing's gonna come out. I have no choice but to blow this up. Since it'll heal. So that's step one. Step two is to close this in case there's anything super dangerous there. Take out the super dangerous enemies first. He has lost my mind. Yeah. Ugh. Obviously that guy's the most dangerous. Hopefully the skunk cape won't leave the hallway over there. Seems to be what's happening. Okay. That's good. Ooh boy. If I have to eat grenades, so be it. It's better than getting, you know, knocked unconscious and dying horribly. I mean, I'm certainly gonna eat some grenade damage from him. Can't be helped. Better kill this guy with the adjudicator. Unless I can, like, do this. I want to throw grenades at least two damage and scrap up for me. Okay, that's better. Judicator is just a godsend. Oh, living steel patch, nice. Now I can repair this armor with 100% efficiency. So I basically don't have to worry about armor durability. And very low on health. Yeah, there's no way to heal in there. Uh, there's a very reasonable chance I can actually reprogram it. It'll, if I succeed, you fail to reprogram it. So I'll just hack it to death. Alright. Don't really need base paste. That's an adaptoid. Could be an ultra mazoid. Eat some of my cooked meat. Eat three of these, and then I am going to rest here. All right, until I finish healing, I'm just gonna pause the video. All right, I finished healing. I'm honestly like tempted to just not kill the adaptoid. The main reason why I normally kill adaptoids is because they can drop um, adamantium raisin, which you need to craft claws. But I suppose. Who knows, there's always a chance that I could get um, Lightning Blade and then I can craft Adamantium Sword, but I'm mostly doing it for the experience. This room seems horrific. All my methods are sound. I know there's a skunk ape in there. I'm almost certainly going to have to eat some more damage. It's fine. The Morigi drone to heal out. It's not even the damage that bothers me so much. It's. Oh, I should have just equipped a padded Stop armor. Following me. To mitigate any sort of damage, the inventory is always nice. I'm not worried about damage to ceramic plate armor now that I have a little bit of steel patch. <laughs> but there's at least a repair station here. <laughs> uh, 
after Ooh. this, I need to go this way. And then, because I avoided that position, it's so terrible. I have to outflank it. I hear a Hopkinite. Ugh. Reinforcement bots. Pretty sure they stack, but there's no point I, since I have Living Steel Patch now. Maybe I put it in here. Yeah, that could work. Let's see. What can I repair? Hmm. I think I'll just repair this. Could still be useful. Yeah, that makes sense. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up! No, this place is open. And I could get knocked out. Gotta go this way. Double charge Mariki had my drone should heal me for quite some time. <gasps> if the corrupted doctor were by itself, I would kill it 100%. Here's the exit with a Mugala. Ooh. Can't afford to get knocked unconscious here. Alright. This is gonna be quite tedious. We might as well do this while the Morigi Medrun is healing us. And I have tons and tons of pistol ammunition. Good. How did that hit the door? I think I clicked too fast. No, no, it's because I wasn't turning around. That's why. Alright, it's sufficiently injured for me to just hack it to death. Come back here. Let's take a look in here. He has enlarged my mind. Lab. Do I need anything? Improvised lockpick. Not really. Like, suppose I craft another cyber scrambler. Anything else to make? Wow, I have 20 frag, uh, 23 frag grenades. That's pretty ridiculous. Excellent job. See that there. Ah. Sucks. Oh, that thing, Ravenous Zoo. We're gonna have to kill this with the Judicator. No choice. Yeah, this is a worthwhile place. Is it? 
Gotta be careful here. Try to avoid attracting the attention of the Protean. Don't wear any more armor. Polarized armor, eh. Have inventory space, why not? Alright. More energy cells, please. My armor is gonna be fine. But I worry a bit about the durability of this, even with all those nano reconstructors laying around. So, my solution is. I mean, it's not gonna explode. The chance is so low, I'm not gonna worry about it, honestly. Now that I think about it. Yeah. EMP grenade! Always good. I'll eat one of these. He has enlarged my mind. Alright, this could definitely fail and explode. So, whatever. Uh, this is fine. All my methods are sound. Forgot to unequip the pistol there. <laughs> Bit of a problem. Yay! Five more energy cells. Every bit counts. <laughs> All right. Ooh, that could heal me. And I believe there is corrupted doctor in here. I do want to kill. But let's take out the preserver at range first. He shouldn't throw the grenade, I think. Damn, it's it's range of two, that's what you need. Ugh. I think one way of countering confusion is to have fewer targets that you can actually target. Then it's more likely you actually hit the thing you want to hit. Oh, that's good. Okay, I feel much better about healing supplies. I have two X target fields in my kits. That's very my good. So I might want to level up medical some just to get that chance up. Beautiful. Let's see what's in here. Tesseract well. Some ammunition. Maintenance Master. Don't know where the little scavenger bots are, but they'll come. Better use a lockpick set. I have more in the bank. Alright. Five X more energy cells. Excellent job. All right, time to manipulate my inventory some more. 
if I can pass the check. Nope. Okay, I've explored pretty much all of this area. So, it's time to leave. Food supply is... Ooh. Stealing my stuff, eh? that. This is two Ada doors. We're not busting through that without expending a tremendous amount of energy. Not gonna be worth it. Energy cells, always good. We should start using some of these frag grenades. <sighs> hmm. Hungry again. This place is unlikely to have. Ooh, Doctor. Two of them. Better take this one out now. Excellent nano meds and energy cell. Don't need either one of those drops. I'll just use an improvised lockpick on this. Well, I agree. Soon you will starve. Leap two in case I find target warbread. Then I'm gonna have to start purifying stuff for him to use. We'll be able to run into Zool soon. They drop tons of like cheese. So rotten cheese and purifier would be awesome for that. No luck. But yeah, food supply is a bit alarming again. He has enlarged my mind. Orgy flavor oil? That could craft some high quality food potentially. Just a little of this. The good news is my energy cell situation is back up to comfortable levels, especially considering how many I have in the bank. The bad news is I need more food and no adamantium claws. Alright, I'm going to pause here. Thank you for watching.